What is up everybody? It is CJ Plays here and I am back with another Sims 3 World Overview. And today we're going to be looking at Walcottville or Wellcottville, I think that's how you pronounce it. But before we get into it, I just want to apologize to all of y'all and especially Angela Esther because y'all were telling me in my Oak Isle video, my water appeared to be glitched or something like that or it was glitching out and I didn't notice it until like way after the fact. I ended up fixing it, I think. I don't know what I did. I know I updated my graphics card and I also took some of my like Sims 3 files out and like just, I don't know. Hopefully it's fixed. I'll let y'all decide. Do my... Does my water look fixed, y'all? I think it looks okay now. I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all noticed that the water was looking glitched, especially in Hydrangea's Valley or in Oak Isle. That was the reason why. It does look fine now. I tested it out in my game. The world looks cool. So it's not uh, Angela Esther's world or anything like that that looks that way. It's just my P It was just my PC at the time. But let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. So this is Walcottville. I don't know about all the expansion packs that you'll need. I know that this world does use a late night bar, but I'm not 100% sure about all the other ones. If y'all see anything or if I see something and we can like print it out, please let me know. I know that you'll need ambitions because i'm seeing like a laundromat and i'm seeing the salon over here so you will need that and I, I did see an ice cream truck driving around so i don't know if you'll need pets or not also want to say that you will need a lot of store content y'all uh, it's not really a lot of like premium sets from what i saw it's more so just items and stuff i don't own everything that you'll need so you know it's it's i feel like it's okay if you don't have everything but some things may be replaced or just changed or look a little different so there's that but let's go ahead and get into it i don't know about the stuff packs either but you know we'll figure it out but anyway y'all let's go ahead and get started let's go ahead and go down here to the Wellcott center park so let's start down here first all right y'all so we're down here at the Wellcott park and it looks pretty nice out here too we have like a, a sim performing now this world i think is unpopulated so i think the sim may be just a uh, random townie i could be wrong but i'm not sure if the world is populated or not but you have like a performer well i have a performer here <laughs> we also have a swing set an activity table for kids to play on we also have a pond over here so your sims can come and fish at you do have this gorgeous fountain out in front with plenty of places to sit down at you can also play chess if you would like you know good skill building items out here you do have an area over here where you can grill and sit down and eat your food and i think that this may be a bathroom inside of here let's scroll down really quick yeah so this is the bathroom there's even like a potty in here so yeah this is some store content yeah so but you know this is a potty in here so you can you can probably train your toddlers here if you would like but you have like apple trees and stuff like that that are growing so you can come and harvest some of the harvestables but this is a pretty cool lot all right y'all so next let's go ahead and check out this lot this is the Wellcott village pool so let's check out the community pool real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the community pool and i like the way it looks i like how small it is you know it's not even that big i do like that <laughs> but you have like a little small pool you have places for your sims to lounge at a place to sit over here and you have an activity table for kids and toddlers to play on there's a fridge out here that's also another potty so you can probably train your toddlers and there is a toy chest i want to say this toy chest did this one come with generations i wonder i think that one came with generations and let's scroll down i think in here are the bathrooms yeah so in here are the bathrooms and of course yeah i am seeing that late night mirror over here so you will need late night as well but uh yeah you have like the bathrooms with the shower so that's pretty cool all right y'all so now let's go next door and go to haney's laundromat so let's check this out next all right y'all this is like a nice little laundromat i like that yellow kind of color scheme on the outside very bright like you could see it you know what i'm saying down the street let's go ahead and open it up though okay let's see so when you come in you have plenty of washers and dryers in here you also have a radio for your sims to listen to and you have like places to sit down at and then in the corner over here you have the bathrooms of course more washers and dryers over here in this corner and a lot of little clutter items let's go ahead and go upstairs and upstairs is pretty much empty up here but you could definitely build more onto it if you need for whatever reason more washers and dryers or just you could just you know make uh you know make better use of this if you would like to but it is empty up here and then i think there's like a little room or something over here oh it's a garage okay so there's a car here so there's a little parking space for your sims you could probably like make a sim live up here if you wanted to i'm sure but all right let's go ahead and keep going let's go over here next and let's check out the watering hole so let's go ahead and check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the watering hole let's go ahead and open it up to see what it looks like on the inside so when you come in you have this nice bar over here there are places to sit over here in the corner as well and then in this corner are the bathrooms and then there's another bathroom over here and there appears to be something below this let's go down first to see what's down here okay so when you come down here you have like a dance floor shuffleboard foosball table darts you have the tv and more places to sit down here so that's pretty cool you also have a wall speaker so your sims can come down here and dance and stuff let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs it's pretty much empty but you can definitely add more onto this if you would like and it's empty up here as well so you could definitely add more again if you would like to all right y'all so let's go ahead now and let's go to the willis salon and tattoo so let's check this out real quick all right y'all so let's go ahead and zoom down to see what it looks like on the inside okay let's see so when you come in you have the waiting room area with the front like counter and then when you come in here you have the stylist station so you can come and get makeovers and stuff like that you also have a bathroom in the back and 
then let's go ahead and go upstairs and then there's nothing up here you could definitely add more onto it and there's nothing up here as well you could definitely add more onto it if you would like and there's even like a little room up here that leads to the top of the building which you could probably build more things out here if you would like and there is like a little parking garage over here let's just zoom down really quick to see yeah so it is a parking garage so you could definitely have your sims park out here if you would like to and then there's even like a little area back here where you could like add something maybe like a grill or something like that all right y'all so now let's go ahead and check out the old town family gym so let's check this out all right y'all so when you come inside you have the front desk area right here you have the kids room in here i guess it's like the for toddlers and kids and babies and stuff like that plenty of activities for them to do in this room you have the bathroom back here with a oh, little potty look at that there's a potty in here and then there are some stairs that goes down so let's just go down first there's nothing down here but like some lights and a lamp so you could definitely build more down here if you would like and then when you go upstairs is the workout room so you have the treadmills and the weight machines i think these treadmills came with high and loft stuff so you won't eat that stuff pack and you have the bathrooms over here in this corner with the showers and stuff and then there's even the the stereo right here oh and a tv so your sims can watch tv and listen to music and stuff like that so that's pretty cool and then let's go ahead and go next door because this is like a little park area so you have like a little park out here so you have like the swings and the slide and the playhouse and stuff like that you even have, you also have a fire pit where you can roast food on and you have the chess tables over here activity tables toy box even like a, a, a custom made sandbox over here so that's pretty cool all right y'all so next let's go ahead and check out the daisy's garden center so let's check this out real quick all right y'all this is the daisy's garden center and this looks really really nice out here like look at this beautiful garden tons of harvestables out here plants and stuff like that this is really really nice let's um open it up and see what's on the inside let's see so when you come in you have like the front counter right here you have a tons of like little plants and stuff that are on display this is really nice y'all i'm seeing some store content i think this light fixture store content i think this plant came with world adventure so you'll need that stuff i mean you will need that expansion pack as well so this is pretty nice though i'm not gonna lie y'all i do like the vibe in here and then there's even like a small bathroom in here as well so that's pretty cool and then out here you have places to sit down at let's bring the walls back up so like you have like a little place to sit at you could probably put like a grill or something on this lot and maybe like have your sims be able to come out here and eat you know i can imagine and like sims come, my sims coming out here for like lunch or something that's pretty cool there's even like a door right here too that you can walk in this way all right y'all so let's go ahead and check out the pink lady art gallery so let's check this out all right y'all this is the pink lady art gallery and this looks pretty nice on the outside it pink was right like it's definitely pink let's go ahead and open it up okay let's see so out here on like the porch you have places to sit down at and then when you come inside you have a nice like den area over here where you can come and just sit down and look at the statues and stuff and then over here in this room you have a lot more statues i think i might be missing something i think this might be some story content or something that i'm missing but you have like a china cabinet and more like uh, art sculptures and stuff like that that are on display let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have <laughs> a horse statue right there you also have another little office type room with some more like art sculptures and stuff like that in here in a bookshelf that you can come and look and read from you also have a little nursery in here which looks pretty cool and you have a place to sit right here and in this room there is like a bedroom so that's pretty cool and then you also have like a bathroom so i'm guessing like the whole entire house is the art gallery you know so let's go ahead and go upstairs again so when you go upstairs again you have like more things that are on display more like sculptures and stuff like that there is like a little sitting area over here another room in here with some more like art on display you have a bathroom right here and in this room i'm guessing you can actually like make art because you have like the art easels and the drafting tables that you can like use for the ambitions careers and you even have like a little like chair right here where you can take sit down and relax and this house also has a balcony so you can come out here and sit if you would like there are like doors on the sides and then on the back you have a back porch and you also have a pond where your sims can come and fish at so that's pretty cool all right y'all so now let's go ahead and check out the old town library all right y'all this library is kind of fancy i'm not gonna lie let's go ahead and open it up whoa this is kind of fancy whoa okay let's see when you come in you have like a, a sitting area over here with some bookshelves you have like a sculpture right here then over here you have like the front counter you have more places to sit in here i like the purple on the chairs and the curtains that's pretty cool you have some more bookshelves in here then over here in this room you have another little sitting room with a bookshelf I do like the purple in here very regal <laughs> and let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have bookshelves over here on the back and you you have a oh this is like a little kids room so you have like a little kids area over here with the bookshelves toy box activity table potty and all that dollhouse and in this room is kind of like the study area you have like the desk where you could you could put a computer here or a laptop or you could just do homework or something like that here you also have the bookshelves and there's like a little chair right here where you could sit down at so this is uh pretty nice though i'm not gonna lie all right y'all so now let's go ahead and check out the walcott 5 and 10 so this is like a consignment store if i'm not mistaken let's go ahead and check this out all right y'all so let's go ahead and open this up to see what it looks like on the inside so when you come in you have the front counter with the consignment register 
monitor there is a sitting area over here you have a desk right there bathrooms are in the back you have a bookshelf right there you have like the mirrors that are kind of like set up like the like a dressing room where you can like change clothes and stuff and like look at yourself so that's pretty cool and then let's go ahead and go upstairs because there are some stairs so it's pretty empty up here and then let's go upstairs again so it's empty up here as well so you could definitely add more onto this lot if you would like you could also come to the top and add some stuff up here if you would like now there is something over here beside it i'm not sure what this is supposed to be guess it's a part of the same lot but let's go ahead and just scroll down and see what's on the inside of it oh it's like a little uh house oh this is kind of cool so i'd imagine like maybe like the person that works here stays here like they work here but they live right here that's pretty cool so you have like a bed in here you have like a little kitchen e type of area a little sitting room spot and then in the back you have the bathroom so that's pretty cool with tons of sunflowers all right y'all so let's go ahead and check out the walcott picnic grounds now right here we can zoom down really quick right here is just a strip of trees and over here is just the parking lot i'll zoom down really quick just just so y'all can see so as you can see there's nothing really here per se and then like over here is just the parking lot i was telling y'all about nothing too special you know but all right y'all so let's go ahead and check this park out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the picnic grounds and this is like a nice little lot though you have that game that came with ambitions you have chess tables out here a swing set you have the grill and places to sit down at you also have a custom made sandbox area with the toy box in it and some toys for sims to play with you also have a pond over here where your sims can come and fish a fire pit let's open this up i think this may be the bathroom so this is the bathroom so you have like the toilet the sink mirror and like a potty over here and there's also a trash can out here so this is pretty nice though so it's not even that big you know i could definitely see my family coming out here there's also like the ice cream truck right there <laughs> all right y'all so let's go ahead and keep moving on all right y'all so let's go ahead and check out the station 31 firehouse all right y'all this is the firehouse and i do like that brick on the outside let's go ahead and open it up all right let's see so when you come in you have a office over here and this is like i guess where you would actually enter in right so when you come in you have the fire truck right here you have a stereo right here so i guess your sims can listen to music while they're working on the fire truck you have an area over here with the lockers i guess this is where like sims could suit up and stuff like that you know <laughs> and then you also have a bathroom over here let's go ahead and go downstairs because there's something down here so let's go downstairs real quick so when you go downstairs oh this is like the skill building room this is really nice so when you come down here you have the chess table you have the drafting table over here you also have the inventing table and then in this room you have the weight machines and the treadmills so let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have a kitcheny area with the fridge and the coffee machine and a place to sit down at you have like another little sitting area right here a bookshelf over there and then over here you have a stereo the showers and the bathroom and then you also have the room where your sims can come and sleep at so you know maybe they don't want to go home maybe your firefighter doesn't want to go home maybe they want to sleep you know or sleep on the job you know maybe you could have them do that here all right y'all so we looked at pretty much all the other community lots over here let's go over here next and check out the old town church all right y'all so this is the old town church and it looks pretty cool out here i don't know i do want to point out the windows they are like kind of different looking i don't know if i'm missing something or not and and also like the gate down here i'm not sure if i'm missing something again you do need store content but let's go ahead and zoom down to see what it's like on the inside though all right let's see so let's look in this room first so when you come in you can come in this room i guess this is like a little office space you have the chess table in here and you also have like the bookshelf and a mirror and of course you could put like a laptop or a computer here if you want to where you could just like do work or something over there but when you come in you have like a uh, the different pews and stuff for your sims to sit down at you could also probably put a wedding arch right here if you want your sims to get married so that's pretty cool and then then over here you could put like a chair here or a computer and make this be another desk area and then you have like places to sit let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs this is i guess like a reception room yeah i guess you can get married here so this is like a little reception room you have the buffet table over here and then you also have the stereo and then you have a self-serving bar over here as well and then over here in the back you have the bathrooms which is pretty nice so you have a lot of space to add more things in here too i don't know if i'm missing something or not because i'm seeing the fish and i don't know if that means i'm missing something let's come over here next y'all and check out abner's fishing hole all right y'all so out here is just a little small fishing hole you can have your sims come out here and fish so that's pretty cool you could probably like build more things outside of it like put some places for the sit down or something or like a grill if you would like all right y'all so let's come over here now and let's check out the abner's square park so let's check this out oh y'all this is pretty nice though okay let's see you have like this little like deck that you can come like walk on you can like fish here you can come out and fish right there so this is pretty cool you have like a nice little like walkthrough area you have a statue right there i'm not sure what's in this uh building but let's go ahead and open it up oh and over here you have the bathrooms okay so the bathrooms over here there is a lime tree that are that is growing out here and then over here in this section you have the picnic tables with some grills and then you also have the chess tables out here so good skill building items as well you have the martial arts training post there the weatherstone spot here for me and then over here you have like a little playground area for kids to play on so you have like the custom made sandbox with the toy box the swing 
swing set slide and the little playhouse that you can play on so that's pretty cool all right y'all so let's go over here next and check out grady's junk shop all right y'all so this is grady's junk shop and i think i've seen this one before i'm not sure if this comes with like a world or if this is the one that came with ambitions i'm not sure but you have you know these scrap out here so if you need some scrap you can come and get that some furniture will sometimes spawn out here as well let's go ahead and open this little office area up yeah so this is like a little office -y area so you have like the desk the bookshelf and the fireplace so yeah i think i've seen that one before but all right y'all let's go over here next and let's check out the sea dogs graveyard all right y'all so this is the sea dogs graveyard and you have like tons of graves and headstones stuff like that over here and you have the mausoleum so you know you can get a part-time job explore the catacombs or tour the mausoleum if you would like and then you also have more places to sit out here as well and over here is a pond where sims can come and fish at so that's pretty cool all right y'all so next let's go ahead and check out the island view park all right y'all this is like a nice little park though i like this it's really small and it's right right by the water so that's pretty cool so you have the picnic tables and grills out here you have places for your sims to lounge out at and then i think this may be where the bathrooms are let's scroll down yeah so this is like where the bathrooms are so you have the bathroom stalls the sinks and then with the mirror and then you also have a potty out here so you, you could potty train your toddler if you would like to but this is nice because you're like right here by the water look at that you could fish and everything come and swim or windsurf if you have you know if you want to all right y'all so we looked at pretty much all of the community lots so now let's check out some of the houses let's start with the house that i placed elliot down at so let's go ahead and check this out all right y'all so this is the house that i placed elliot down at and i do like it y'all like it's so small and yellow i really like it <laughs> let's go ahead and open it up okay let's see so when you come inside you have a little mini sitting area over here with the chair and the lamp and the bookshelf and then over here you have like the living room area and then you have the kitchen table over here you also have like a little kitcheny area over here and then over here is the bathrooms now if you don't know who elliot is y'all he is my tour god sim he is in most of my world overview videos he was also in my nightmare legacy challenge if you want to see that series i'll leave a link down below but now let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have the bedroom over here with the bed you know and the in the nightstands and the dresser so you could definitely add more in, in here if you would like to maybe like a computer desk or something like right there or like a chair or something um but yeah this is a one bedroom house all right y'all so now let's go ahead and check out some of these houses right here so let's check uh we'll check this one out first and then we'll, we'll scroll down and i kind of like this house though it looks different i like this i like the roofing and stuff and like you have like this little porch area that's really nice oh i think a raccoon came <laughs> i think a raccoon came y'all but let's go ahead and open this up let's see so when you come in you have a nice little living room area over here that's also like a stereo right there in the corner you have the kitchen in this area with a kitchen table over here and you have the bathrooms and you have a bedroom so this is also a one bedroom house and then there are some back steps that lead out to the backyard and i think over here is the garage or maybe like the shed let's go ahead and open it up yes yeah, so there's nothing in here but there are some stairs that lead downward so let's go down here and down here you have tons of space so you could definitely add more things down here if you would like to maybe make another room or something or just a chill hangout area if you would like so that's pretty cool so now let's go ahead and check out the house that's like right beside it again this house is also kind of yellow kind of reminds me of elliot's house but it has a ton of land landscaping out here really nice there's also like another little shed over there we'll check that out in a bit but let's go ahead and scroll down to see what it looks like on the inside okay let's see so you out here on the porch you have places to sit you have oh you have like a little living room area over here with the fireplace and tv and the desk you could also put a computer or a laptop here there's also the record player over here and the bookshelf and then over here in this corner you have the bathroom with the kitchen table there are some stairs that lead downward so let's go ahead and go down here first so down here you have the laundry room in this corner you have some kit toys i guess these are like old kid toys you know and then over here in this room you have the sculpting area and then you also have the inventing table and then you have some uh <laughs> some stone i guess somebody was making uh art sculptures or trying to make art sculptures i guess but that's pretty cool let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have a master bedroom over here so i'm guessing this could be like the parents bedroom you also have a bathroom over here which oh i like that little curtain placement that's pretty cool let's bring the walls up so y'all can see that's pretty cool like look at that little uh curtain placement i also like the towel in here like that color scheme i really like that a lot and then over here appears to be a uh, kid room or maybe like a teenager's room uh, so you have like the toy box and a bed and all that and a desk area so and then out here on the back you have like a little back porch you could probably put some stuff out here if you would like the clothes line out here and then in here i think maybe like a shed or something let's open it up so it's empty so you could definitely put things in here if you would like to all right y'all so let's go ahead and check out this one next now this house looks really really nice i do like that color scheme on the outside let's go ahead and open it up all right let's see so when you come in you have like a little walkthrough area right here there's the kitchen in this corner you also have the kitchen table over here in this little corner right here and then over here you have the living room with the tv and fireplace plenty of places to sit i love the design of the chair and the couch like 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and then over here in this room, you have a chess table with the stereo and you have bookshelves as well. And then let's go ahead and go upstairs. So when you go upstairs, you have a little sitting area right here. There is the nursery in this corner. Looks pretty cool. You have the kids room over here, or maybe like the teenagers room. And then you also have the master bedroom, which looks nice with a little platform that leads up to an all little office workspace. So you could put a computer or a laptop there. And then there is also a bathroom at the end of the hallway over here. And then back out here, you have an umbrella table with the picnic basket. And then down here, you have the telescope and swing set let's go ahead and check out this house next all right so we're down here at this house and it does look kind of nice i do like how you have like the front porch with the chair there's also a grill out here and some water sprinklers let's go ahead and open it up though all right y'all so i did turn the lights on and make it a bit brighter in here so we could see so you have a bathroom over here in this corner you have the living room area over here no tv though but you have like a little living room area with the fireplace and a stereo you also have the kitchen over here then there is a bedroom over here as well so that looks pretty cool there are some stairs that lead downward so let's scroll down real quick and down here appears to be a chest that you can store things inside then you also have a dexter the bear toy but you have a tons of empty space down here so you could definitely add more onto this if you would like to the trash can in the back and there's also a parking space right there as well all right y'all so we're not gonna look at every single last house but i at least want to look at two more before we go so let's just check out these two right here let's check out this one first and then we'll check out that one y'all look at this house though look at the look at the red and white this is so nice out here y'all this world has some really amazing houses like i can't even front let's go ahead and open it up real quick oh this is nice let's see you have the living room area over here with the tv you have the little den spot over here with the fireplace the dining room right here that's also the kitchen over here and then in the backyard you have a big you have a big backyard out here but with a clothesline you could definitely add more things out here you have bike racks there's also like a little garden spot over here let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick and then when you go upstairs you have a bedroom over here you have an office over here bathroom and then you have like a smaller bedroom for kids or teens but y'all this is pretty nice this house isn't nice this world has some amazing houses y'all <laughs> let's go ahead and check out the one beside it oh this is nice too look at the brick i like that red brick let's go ahead and open it up all right y'all so when you walk in you have the bookshelf right here with the small kitchen right there you have a living room area right here with the record player this is the dining room and then you also have a bathroom and let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have a nursery right here and then you also have the master bedroom right here with the clothes hamper and there's also like something over here let's go ahead and zoom down some more oh so this is where you can wash the clothes at so you can wash your clothes and dry them right in here and then there are also more stairs that lead downward and then down here you have some good skill building items you have the weight machine and the chest table and the art easel so that's a pretty cool then out here in the back you also have bike racks and you have a spot that you can grow like a garden if you would like this world has some amazing houses y'all like honestly <laughs> but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video i know that we didn't look at all the houses but y'all just check this world out okay it's called walcottville <laughs> and i highly recommend it like it's, it's beautiful and it does kind of give me those fall vibes y'all <laughs> but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below let me know do y'all have any more world suggestions any more lot suggestions any more video ideas please be sure to let me know and i'll take them all into consideration subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all in the next one bye thanks for watching